Hi, Zena, Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This is a Vera Bradley haul from the Vera Bradley Factory Outlet in Phoenix. Well, it's actually in Chandler. But anyways, on the way home from two weeks at Aunt Jean's house in, in Nevada, I stopped and checked out a few things. I did not find the luggage tag I was looking for for her, but I found a couple other things and decided to grab them. So here's the haul. Let's see, I did get a water bottle. I do not need another water bottle, but it is 25 ounces, stainless steel, and it's the dog show pattern. I obviously love the dogs. There's my little Lucy one right there. Um, but I got it because I go to the dog park pretty much every day, and I just thought that would be a fun addition to take with me to the dog park. Or when I'm traveling, just to have that water, it could be dedicated for Kelly's water and I could keep her water dish full rather than taking my water bottle. It's all the same water, but anyway, speaking of Kelly, come here, come on. She says hello, she's happy to be home. She had a, a really good time with Cousin Nugget, <laughs> the, the Scotty. Um, okay, this I'm gonna put aside because that is not from the order. I grabbed, uh, well, you'll see in a minute because You'll see in a minute. Let me just move a couple things out of the way because they're not part of our shopping. Okay. Uh, yep, that came out there. I did get some more of the Antilles treasure because I do love the sea fairy stuff. Uh, so this is the underwater scene. It is basically Paisley Wave, but the outlet version. So it's very, very similar. So this is just the, the mini notebook. It's 60, 160 college rules pages and it has an interior pocket. I always take a notebook like this and or a large one on my cruises. I don't have any booked right now, but I've got plenty of cruising notebooks uh, plus other notebooks. And it's all not just for cruising, everyone. I, I like this stuff every day of the week anyways, even at home. I grabbed these pens. These are the Click pens. It's a set of two. The ink is black, but it's the Antilles Treasure. I also got a magnet notepad. So it has the lines and then on the back it has a magnet. These are great for um, anything that obviously is magnetic. So my refrigerator, my cabin door on the cruise, the walls of the cabin are magnetic. Uh, my sister and I used one like that to leave notes for each other um, coming in and out of the cabin when we went in December. I got a set of four mechanical pencils in the same pattern. So I've got pens and pencils to add to my cruising pens and pencil sets. I grabbed the large travel pill case, which has a lot of the fishies on it. Oops, that one was upside down. Um, but anyways, this, if you're not familiar, is a great pill case. It has four a day or two weeks of day, night, day, night. That's how I use it. Um, but you also can take them out individually. You can use them for whatever you want. Sometimes I pack earrings in, in the smaller version of this, but same idea. You can also take all of these out and put your regular day and night long ones. The um, lug choo-choos fit in here as well, so sometimes I use those for travels. But depends on how many weeks of travels, but this way, if you pre-pack, you can do two weeks of day-night per thing. Um, when on my long trip, I did like one full of these of day, 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 and then the second one was all the nights. So I actually took four weeks worth of meds in two of these, so you didn't have to take any of the bottles. And, and that I could do because my meds are just like vitamins and supplements, not any kind of uh, drugs that you have to leave in the bottle with the prescription on it. So I don't have anything like that. If you do, then definitely don't, you know, take it out of the bottle. Okay. Other things I got, I got the Medium Travel Cosmetic in Dog Show. So these are the cotton and then the inside. So it has a curved zipper and the inside is plastic lined. It's just a solid gray with the VB diamonds. But these are that sort of triangular shape. So bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. But they just, I, I like the configuration of them. I prefer these over the trapeze ones, honestly. Um, just my preference, but for what that's worth. Honestly though, I prefer the old style that was more of a rectangular, so you didn't lose capacity as you got skinny on the top. They were more like wide all the way down. But whatever, they are different sizing, different shaping. So the spectrum of them gives me plenty to pick from. Any given occasion, I have the right case for it. 
Um, Kelly, stop looking at my elbow, you silly. Um, okay, so I got the same thing in the Antilles treasure. So there's more bits of the pattern with the fishies and the coral and the shells and the seaweed and jellyfish and all of the things from underwater. Really cool. Uh, I really do like the colors though. It's, it's nice. I like teals and blues and purples. And this is the same thing, but this one is the Grand Travel Cosmetic. It's just a larger size. Um, this one has the treasure chest on it. As always, I did pick my pattern placements based on what was available there. I just tried to get a variety of the colors and the fishes and minimize things that are cut off, you know, especially headless things. But so there, we've got the two different sizes and then the dog one, because that's always good to have. All right, so got all that. Let me put this back in the bag real quick. Uh-oh. Now I'm dropping, dropping pins. It's okay, Kelly. It's okay, baby. Yeah, there's too much going on, huh? Too much. Okay, now I also got home, well, all of the packages waiting for me after two weeks. And this was a nice letter from the ladies at Mayfair Mall. Thank you very much. What they sent me, a little note. I didn't have an order with them, but it just said, we finally got our pins in. I wanted to send you one. The pin she's talking about is the Snow White from the Disney Classics collection that just came out. If you're there on opening day, they give you the pin, same as Disney Springs. So I have a few different Vera pins now. Um, pin or button, if you call it that, you know, it's just a pin. Um, but I ordered on opening day with them and I'm one of their um, VIP customers, so they they were gonna give it to me, but they didn't have them when my when my order came through. So they they sent it to me, which I think is really great. Um, just so you're aware, the whole store will be on sale, twenty five percent off, March twenty third to twenty seventh. Let me know if you want to get anything. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Love Anna. Thank you Anna, and thank you to all the ladies out there. Um, I appreciate that. I actually didn't get this until yesterday, which was the 29th. But uh, I did order a couple of things from the 25% off sale online when I got home yesterday. So that's cool. So yay, a pin for my collection. All right. The other Vera Bradley thing, why this was in the bag. Uh, yeah, so I'll put my pickleball video here. If you didn't watch it and you're interested, I just said, oh, what's in my bag with my pickleball bag, which is Vera Bradley. Um, but I... I have a Vera Bradley paddle and I explained all that about it being disqualified from a tournament, but I play like two or three hours every day. That's my fitness for, for now. It's, it's great, great and I'm very social and it's working out lovely. But even though I could not play in the tournament with my paddle, I still love it and I still use it. Um, so I, I bought another one. <laughs> Cause they were hard to come by even from the beginning. They sold out really fast. But I was just surfing and I was at my aunt's and I was just sitting there. She had to go do something I was by myself. So I just was farting around on my iPad and I found a sale on the Vera Bradley Battle Paddle in the Plaza Tile. Um, they did make three patterns. They made the Java Navy Camo, the Plaza Tile, and there was um, one of the rosy pink ones, like a breast cancer pattern. I forget which name it was. There's none of them available anyways, but this was on sale. So I paid 150 full price when I bought my first one. This was on sale for $99 from um, Just Paddles. They may still have more if you're interested. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't get anything for those sales and they're not available through Vera. Um, but the, the cover came with it for free. So that's pretty cool. Um, honestly, when I look at it, it, I wouldn't even guess it was the same pattern to tell you the truth, but it is. This is just a, a bluer colors, which I actually quite like. So plaza tile, and then here's the actual plaza tile. So it looks like they kind of centered on the, the floral medallion part of it. I mean, it is the same pattern, but the colors just don't come off the same and that's okay. I'm totally happy with it. But so, for $99, I got the paddle and the cover, which of course I love. And there you go. This also feels like the grip is slightly different and maybe it's just because my other one is so worn in. Um, but it also feels a little heavier. Uh, and again, that could just be that 
my arm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, there you go. So I got the, this is, so now I have three paddles, so I can't ever quit playing pickleball because I need to start wearing them out. But they work great and nice little cover. Beautiful. Okay. So the Vera Bradley Collection Ultimate in Court Performance and Expressive Style Fiberglass Plate with Polymer Honeycomb Core. That's that. And Battle is the company that they collaborated with. The Vera Bradley Collection by Battle merges Ultimate and Pickleball Performance Design with the expressive spirit of the much beloved Vera Bradley brand. Known for iconic colorful prints, Vera Bradley has been making the world a brighter place with its travel bags, accessories, and philanthropic efforts since 1982. This paddle is 16 inches, 5.25 inch handle length, grip circumference, 4.25 inch, 7.3 to 7.7 ounces. It's fiberglass, polymer, honeycomb, and is 0.52 inches thick. There you go. If you are interested, you may be able to find them. Um, there you go. Also, since I was on that site, I found something else that was kind of novel. Um, I do have my, my Selkirk paddle is purple, so I got this. These are just little ball holders, pickleball holders. So it holds a single ball, and it's a semi-hard shell. So it would actually protect the ball pretty well. Not that you need a whole lot of protection for them. But what I liked about it is if I just wanted to go light and just take like my paddle and a ball and, and my water and go play, I could just hook that onto that or hook it on the fence next to it, whatever. I can hook it all together and not have to take a bag or anything. Now, I almost always have a bag anyways. But there you go. So you can have a ball and paddles. And I got three because I got my regular outdoor balls are the bright yellow color, the Franklin X40s. Um, so I got those colors. And then I got that because it matches my purple paddle. <laughs> So maybe I'll do like indoor ball or indoor outdoor. I, I don't know. But I got three of them just because. So you can put them all on there. I actually have all my balls in a mesh bag, which if you watch that video, you see. But just another option. And they, they weren't too expensive, so I grabbed them. So they will get used. All right. So that's the end of the haul. But since uh, I had a video happening anyways, I decided to put together a, a little trip report, if you will. So I went up to Aunt Jean's. Aunt Jean is my very talented aunt. She's a retired nurse. She is nonstop motion. She is always busy doing stuff, but she's very artsy craftsy. She does um, 3D toll with the layered paper. She does painting. She does um, diamond painting. She does uh, all sorts of things. And I, the Mesquite Nevada Community Center, um, I'm not sure that's the right word for it, but they do free classes at the library and at the community center for, for anyone who wants to sign up. So, so many things. They do a cricket class, which we did, and I'll show you what we, we made there. Um, I grabbed the schedule. Let's see, some of the other things they do. They do movies, blood drives, there's sign language classes, book clubs, card making, uh, so many things. 3D print and design. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta have my Aunt Jean pick up my 3D printing. Oopsie. Anyways, so many things. So they have a nice schedule for that. These are recipes. Okay. So we got that. There was also pickleball. So I played pickleball. Not every day. But I played several times. I played indoors and outdoors. They have an art gallery, which is constantly changing up their displays. So we always go by there because Aunt Jean does a lot of stuff with them. Um, Cricut, Cricut, Cricut. That was the class we went to, Craft Club. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we also had a big volunteer dinner for her. Mesquite Police Department, she's the volunteer coordinator and just invaluable to the department. We did another project that she had with her family. It had the family name and then it had a row for each month, January, February, whatever, and all of the birthdays and holidays for that month. So she bought these stickers to use for some of those and then gave me all the extras. She didn't, she doesn't have any use for them. So I have a bunch of monthly stickers for two sets of January to December. 
So those will get added to my stickers. Oop, not shopping. Okay, what else did we get? Ah, we made candy. We made peanut brittle a couple times. I decided I needed a candy thermometer as well, so now I have one. And Aunt Jean knitted this. It looks like a pot holder. It is not. I mean, it could be, but it's actually a, a scrubber, like for dishes, scrubbing dishes. And this, this type of thread actually works really well as a scrubber. So it's gentle, it's not abrasive, but it works very effectively. This one is mixed with yarn, so it's not strictly scrubber material. Um, and it is a little bit big, but you know what? I use a, a washcloth sponges and you can throw them in the washer and wash them. So that's really nice. You can sanitize them that way. And it's purple, because hey, purple's my favorite color. Anyway, so I don't know how to knit yet, but I will learn and I will make stuff like that too. We also did book folding. It's a thing, like I didn't know. So you take a book, I thought, you know, books are sacred, right? You like, never destroy them, you know, ban them or whatever, but don't destroy them. I don't know. Anyways, this is a paperback book that was, you know, been read many times, whatever was donated for this purpose. And you just fold the pages. So this one is like a football. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, I might thread something through it and hang it and let it be spinny art. Maybe I'll paint it for Christmas and let it be a spinny Christmas thing. I don't know, but I made it because Aunt Jean taught me how to do it. Then, um, oh, more gifts. These are from Aunt Jean. She bought gifts for her volunteers and her police department. She gave me a copy. So it's a flashlight. It's really bright too, a little LED flashlight. That's very bright. And it has rose gold and navy blue, and then there's a matching pen. Which is a really nice little set for her peeps. And so she gave me one, because it was her own dollars. So thank you. And then this is another thing. This was last year's gift that she gave her people. But uh, it's a little notebook, super cute. And again, it has the Mesquite Volunteer Police with the address. And inside is a notepad with like sticky notes on this side all that, and a little elastic for the pen. So lovely, and it's perfect for purse size little thing. Yay. And, oh, <laughs> Kelly's St. Patrick's Day, she had her, her bow, because that was her costume for the day for St. Patty's. Ooh, and the police gave me one of their volunteer keychain badges. It's, it's, I can't do anything with it, but I do volunteer for the police in Tucson, so that's kind of cool different capacity than, than out there, but just a nice little keychain. And the craft that we did, um, these are all mixed up now, so I can't tell you which ones are mine or hers. Well, probably I can. Um, but they did the cricket and they cut out these little faces out of vinyl and neon glow in the darks. So all of these glow in the dark and they're just eggs, like little cheap little black eggs. So, <laughs> This fun, all different faces, like some of them are surprised or angry. Uh oh, whoopsie, that was a cheap egg, obviously. But hey, it was free, so I really can't complain. But they all glow in the dark. So we just, you know, weeded them out or whatever you call it and put them on the egg faces. So whole bunch of them. And I thought it would be fun to do like an Easter egg hunt with my pickleball gals. Um, we'll just like put little treats in them and do them out at the pickleball courts. Cause you know, we can play in the dark and these will glow. So it'd be fun. I don't know, maybe, but they're super cool. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. So we did that together. That was fun. And she, we didn't do this class together, but she's got a house full of baskets that she made. If you watch my videos, I'll try and find one that has it, but I use a basket for my purse changes, and you don't always see it on camera, but it's always in the process. Um, so the things that I take out of my bags that I'm not using at any given time, it gives me a place to store them centrally. But she makes all these baskets in one of those classes. You just do the class and weave some baskets. So this one she made, it has genuine leather straps on it, and it's just a nice size. And so I used it to carry all my little things home in. But I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for here at the house, but for sure it's got a place. 
Um, maybe it'll be the new purse basket because the other one's not big enough. But uh, yeah, I just keep adding to it. Um, but she also gave me this one. Um, she doesn't take no for an answer, so generous Aunt Jean. And I like this one. I love the purples and blues and teals. That is right up my alley. So and this is just um, decorative weave in there as well. So it's just a basket, but this one has a hard bottom. So it actually has a wood thing that the, the straw stuff goes through when you're weaving it instead of just making its own bottom. But that's kind of different. So I'm just gonna put the eggs inside here for now. And so there's that. And that's it for this one. Uh, we had a great trip, nice eight hour drive back yesterday and right to Pickleball after we got unpacked. So right back on track. I hope you're all doing well, enjoying spring wherever you are. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy and be kind. Bye for now.